But anyway, Alyssa Macante reared her ugly, ugly face and stuck it right into the middle of this situation. Also, only 10 bucks to go to the goal, by the way, if anyone feels like they really want to see Alyssa Macante's rap song. Uh, Macante responded to this specifically addressed to Japanese players by writing on X, quote unquote, maybe just say you're racist. By the way, professional journalist, guys, doesn't know the difference between Y-O-U-R and Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. She went to the University of Huac Tur to pay for the University of Newcastle. She's, she's also... Um, She's also completely misusing quotation marks, by the way, as mm -hmm. well, this professional journalist. She's telling them to say to her in response that she is racist, which is ironic because what she's actually trying to say is racist. She says, uh, just say, quote, inexplicable quote, your racist response to a video game is indicative of moral decay, get bent. What? Yeah, what? yeah. Add some homophobia to the mix. Yeah. Why not call them rice munchers and all, just to put a cherry on the top of it? <laughs> oh. So basically, she's implying that uh, Ubisoft should should um, tell the Japanese people that their racist response to a video game is in indicative of moral decay. Get bad. So she's saying that Japanese people are racist. And you know what is funny about that? Mm. She is, in essence, mm. tarring all Japanese people mm. with the same brush. Mm. She's saying that all Japanese gamers are racist, which, I'm sorry, is the definition of racism, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Labeling a broad it. spectrum of people as one defining characteristic based on their uh, ethnicity. Mm. That's yeah. that's Bas literal racism. Basically, she's just proven that prostitutes don't have brains. I hope for her sake the Empire of the Rising Sun never returns. Otherwise, they're going to fucking freeze her bones and then melt them again to test for frostbite. Yep. So um, the loudmouthed, incoherent, and unintelligible, uninformed bitch herself decided to say uh, to release an article rather on Kotaku claiming that anyone criticizing Ubisoft was just engaging in hate. Why the fuck? What are people so clingy to these companies? Oh wait, access, of course. Yes, she has to toe the line. She says, a fledgling but furiously loud group of gamers, which is another way of saying vocal minority, by the way, uh, a, a falsehood, incidentally, because mm. we are the majority, uh, will tell you that Assassin's Creed Shadow's backlash is about respecting Japanese culture or refusing to accept woke ideologies that are being forced into their games by consulting groups who hold no real power. That is exactly what it is. Wow, the first truthful thing this fucking Binta no, said. Yeah, and she's, she's trying to package that, it as a lie. Yeah, she's calling us liars. Yeah, she's saying we're just racists. But just like in 2014, during the first full-throated iteration of Gamergate, this was never about anything other than hate. Well, she knows <laughs> a thing or two about full-throating. Yeah, she's talking about a poor choice of words. I know, right? Fucking hilarious. <laughs> Uh, Macante supports this claim, writing that the responses to Ubisoft's posts were exactly what you'd expect. Racist images, slurs, and calls for historical accuracy in a video game series that has always been steeped in science fiction. No, the science fiction is built on a foundation of f historical accuracy. And if you don't think it is, then you aren't intelligent enough to play video games, which is saying something because Angry Birds exists. <laughs> and there are four films. Or I think yeah. the fourth film is planned, at least. So anyway, an unpublished community note, a feature frequently used by users to add context to post, reads Assassin's Creed N-Word Squire. Atreus Squire. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Atreus. 
Not only does Makante declare that Japanese gamers and others criticizing the game are just fueled by hate, but she absurdly claims that it is connected to U.S. politics. He's right the reactionary right-wing movement in gaming that has reared its ugly head yet again is no different, and it's happening right now for a reason. Socio-cultural issues are reaching a fever pitch in an election year, and just like 10 years ago, political ire is bleeding into popular culture. Newsflash, bitch. 10 years ago wasn't an election year. Mm. That's not how it works. It's That's four years. It'd be either eight years or 12 years ago, you fucking retard. Political ire is bleeding into popular culture where it's been seized upon by those looking to take advantage of naive, impressionable young men who are shunned in public but lauded and even loved online. In this, this sounds like projection. It is. It's entirely that. Yes, correct. She says there will never be a shortage of hate for them to spread. Their only way forward is full-throated, again, denouncing of bad actors in the video game space for the biggest names in the business, the largest companies in this industry. She's making it all about her, guys. Mm. She's making it all about her. It's her struggle. It's, it's just 2014 again, baby. While painting us as the next Rommel, Goebbels, and Goering. She's insane. She mm. says, uh, she says, this is all happening because Mark Kern tagged me from behind a block and said that I'm attacking all Japanese people when I don't even mention them at all. Bitch, you just you did. responded <laughs> to an apology to the Japanese exclusively. It would Look, be so funny fucking, if I know you watch Alyssa, you deranged harpy. Okay, yeah. Look at this. This apology that you responded to says to our esteemed Japanese community. To our esteemed Jap, it doesn't say America, it doesn't say English, it doesn't say Filipino, it doesn't say anything, it doesn't say Welsh, it doesn't say uh, anything. It says Elf. Japanese community. They're not apologizing to me. They're not apologizing to Ryan. They're not apologizing to Hypnotic or or geeks and gamers or anybody else who's talked about this shit. They're apologizing to the Japanese. And your fucking half baked, half brained, fucking femtard response is to call whoever is complaining racist and indicative of moral decay. You are thereby saying Japan is racist and indicative of moral decay, you fucking brainlet. Get in the sea until you can develop the, the ability. To withstand human existence on land, you unevolved troglodytic bint. I do. I, I really I, feel well. <laughs> I, I, would, I, I would find this even funnier if she thought Mark Kern was Japanese. Oh, God, yeah, no, he's Taiwanese. <laughs> or for you, Chinese. Yeah, they're all the same. No. <laughs> But there you go, Alyssa McCante. Fucks it up again. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, this woman is too stupid mm -hmm. to be employed to do anything besides maybe operate a forklift truck. Mm -hmm. No, she's too stupid for that. I know some quite intelligent people who can operate forklift trucks. Maybe she should be working in a convenience store or something, like, you know, accidentally miscounting people's change or She's literal proof that all women are good for is prostitution oh my god fuck you now all right now.